Welcome everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Linux Defiant, which I found over on distrohunt.com. This one I've been uh, waiting to install for a few weeks now, so I decided to check it out. So here's their homepage right here. Really simple, nicely designed um, distribution. There's a lot of theming options here. I've, um, up here they have this really neat um, Cairo dock where you can go in and, and change a lot of the uh, configuration methods. So if you're not a big fan of the pulse, you could change it back to, I don't know, busy signal and hit apply. Let's try um, spot. Apply. Oh, that's cool. So it causes rain. Anyway, so let's take a look at this one. Um, so of course, there's the Cairo dock here. This has the applications available. I've got a Pythos running in the background although muted at the moment. There is a Conky here that has the current time. We've got a little um, calendar. This is the uh, date and time clock. Speaker, network. I installed Kazam to do the uh, screen grab here. We've got a little uh, application switcher, which is nice. So let's see do we got? This is really neat. Very few distributions do this, so they've got a backup system on. So you can go in here and uh, back up certain things. So what I would like to do is just simply back up the home folder. So we're going to go ahead and do the entire home folder and storage location. Well, I would schedule it for every week, keep forever, and of course you'd want to set it up with a separate hard drive little um, weather report. I'm over in San Dimas, so I've got the uh, weather going on over here. Um, sorry about you guys on the uh, East Coast being so cold. <laughs> this little um, Cooper? Co Cooper? Anyway, you could search for applications very easily and quick, which is really nice if you're big into uh, keyboard actions. It comes in handy on laptops, for instance. This uh, drop-down terminal, a la um, Quake, which is kind of cool. It looks like I still have the backup system on. I'm going to turn that off. Over here you've got, of course, the uh, applications currently running. This is neat. This is their um, uh, quick update manager. So all you do is put in your password. And it will uh, check for updates. It's really quite neat. You can run that in the background. Oh, this is cool. This is a, so very similar to a GNOME um, shell application manager. So you can go through all your applications visually. Check that out. Ooh, a Windows logo. Let's fix that right now. Let's see here. Well, they've got this great little image here and got a. Uh, decided to uh, use a Windows logo on their panel, so I'm going to fix that. Great thing about XFCE is it's super easy to make it your own. So, let's see here, Defiant Pictures, and boom, their little hamburger logo there is uh, now replacing that ugly uh, Windows logo that shouldn't have been there to begin with. Go, go ahead and do some updates while I do this video here. Now this is really cool. So you've got the uh, the applications and uh, the folders. So you've got the whisker menu, the um, folders. I forgot what this is. Oh, right, the app menu. Well, that's about it on the desktop so far. Let me see here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, let's take a look at what's available here. Got a ton of accessories. This was a almost a two gigabyte download from um, from their website. Internet, you got Firefox. A lot of cool multimedia um, software. If you're looking for a multimedia. Um, Oh, that's really neat. So when it was done with the uh, update, it uh, closed the terminal for me. That's super cool. 
couple different uh, calendar organiz organizers, and then of course a ton of settings. So what's really neat about this one here is that it it the uh, developer definitely took what he loves about his system and slapped it all together for us to uh, benefit from. Let's see. Minitube. I haven't used Minitube recently. Let's see how this works these days. Check out Spatry's channel. Oh, not too shabby. I have audio turned off, but that's really cool. So you can completely bypass um, YouTube there. Uh, it's uh, sometimes it's not a good thing to be bypassing the advertisements, but whatever. Anyway, um, this is a really solid distribution based on Ubuntu 14.04. And uh, wow, it's just running very smooth. Big fan. Ooh, Clementine's right here. It's like, um, oh, there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys. There's a ton of customization options under um, the appearance menu. So we've got Zen Blua, Zen Grisa, and of course some of these you have to log in and out for them to uh, fully take, take effect, but really cool um, color options. And ooh, they've got Bluebird installed, some of my favorite um, my favorite appearance themes. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun. You guys can go and check this one out over on uh, Distro Hunt and of course uh, Linux Defiant. Go ahead and download. You can get it over at, uh, I believe it's uh, SourceForge they have it at. Yeah. So download this bad boy at SourceForge and uh, you're good to go. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.